Hey, what's good, my dudes? It's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man here, and today I wanted to talk about something uh, that happened uh, because a while back in September, I made a video talking about how I just got—I had just gotten a job uh, at Burger King, and well, as you can tell by the title, uh, today that ended. So I wanted to talk about all of that, um, and uh, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right into that. <laughs> so. Uh, this afternoon, when I woke up, my, I will admit, my mom called my work for me, and she said, here's the phone, I called, go ahead and answer it, uh, when he picks up. So, I took the phone, nothing happened, so, I waited about an hour, and I called them again, and, uh, I hear, Sheriff's Department, and I think to myself, uh, that's not right, and so I hang up the phone, and I call again, and Derek's, Derek, my manager, he's a fucking prick, He's, uh, he answers and he says, uh, sorry dude, I don't answer phone calls on my lunch break. And, uh, so I said, oh, okay, uh, I just needed to know what time I come in. And so he says, oh, you come in today. And so I say, okay, but what time? So he says, four. I'm like, alright. And he says, yup. So he hangs up the phone, or I, well, I don't know. Who the fuck hangs up a phone in that scenario? It doesn't matter. So one of us hangs up the phone, and then, um, later on, uh, you know, I start thinking about it, and I realize, like, you know, I've got better things going for me, this is a trash-ass job, basically everything about it is garbage, which I will get into more about, uh, very soon, uh, in this video. Um, so I think it through, and about an hour later, I call, not even an hour, I would say it was probably, that was probably the most over-exaggerated amount of time I've ever said in my life, because it was probably, honestly, 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes later, I call back and I say, Hey Derek, you know what? Uh, this job just isn't working out. You guys don't give me enough hours. Uh, basically, I quit. So he says, Yep, that's perfectly fine, man. And then uh, one of us, again, how do you... One of us hangs up the fucking phone. I can't say anything other than that. So, basically, I'm telling you guys that I will no longer be working at uh, Burger King. Um, and with that being said, I want to tell you guys a couple of things about Burger King because not only will this possibly help you guys in thinking about you know where you guys might want to work because I do know that I have a younger uh, demographic, I believe they call that, analytics, something like that, doesn't matter. Uh, I, I know that a lot of you guys are a lot younger and probably around, um, probably around the age of maybe 13 to 15, I mean, that's kind of what the YouTube community is, except for me, because I never grew up, I'm still a child. No, that's... Okay, anyways, so, basically, I want to tell you guys what happened at Burger King and why it's such a trash-ass place to work, unless yours... Just keep in mind that this is all my uh, experiences, and that my Burger King ha has a very good chance of being very different from your guys' Burger King, so... Uh, do keep that in mind. Uh, it just depends on really where you live and what's near you. So, at this Burger King, there was a shit ton of drama always breaking down. Somebody was unhappy about their pay, how many hours they got. People were too talkative. Uh, I remember when I was working there, I used to work with the fries, and I would put the fries in the little, uh, the little cup shit, you know, whatever it's called. And, um put those in bags, serve them to customers, you know, do that kind of stuff. And while I'd be doing that, I would have people talking to me or, you know, just not doing their work. And uh, it would be really, really understaffed at some points to the point to where I was the only one who was doing anything really at all because the managers were always in their office on their phones. Or at some points it would be so over overstaffed that when I would be doing my work and doing it quite well, if I do say so myself, pretty fucking fast, I got really good at my job at the end there. And I was, you know, really fucking, you know, I was speedy about it. I was doing things the way it was supposed to be. Suddenly a manager would kick into gear uh, and say, Hey, Hayden, go clean the bathrooms. I'm going to take over your whatever the fuck you're doing. And uh, trust me, that gets annoying. I know it sounds like, oh, hey, he's taking me off of what I'm doing right here. And uh, he's doing my job for me so that way I can do something different. Usually it would be something a lot harder, like cleaning the bathrooms. Now, I know you probably hear the word... Uh, I know you probably hear cleaning the bathrooms and you think, well, that can't be too difficult. Um, and it's not, but it is still very annoying to know that the only reason why he's not doing that job is because it takes more time and it's a little bit more difficult. And because he's the manager, he can push you over and pretty much have you do 
uh, whatever he wants you to do. Now, I'm not trying to play the victim card and say, oh, when I was at work, I was abused, and they kept screaming at me, and I was disoriented, and all the yelling and the fast-paced work had me really scared. No, it's not that at all, but what I am saying is, it could have been better. Everything was, uh, everything was very unofficial. Um, uh, one thing that I can honestly say is, if your first impression is a little off, odds are, that's the way it's gonna be. Um, when I tried to apply, if you even want to call it that, uh, for this job, um, basically what happened is they never asked me for my age, and they said, hey, this kid would be perfect uh, for a job that is made for people who are over the age of 18. So they called me in, uh, I had uh, an interview, and they found out that I wasn't 18, but because they had made uh, made it seem like I was going to be getting a job there, they decided to fill me in anyways, and that ended up not working out too well because they are overstaffed. And I'm, with the way that they were so quick to have me fill in a position that they didn't even know enough information about me to have me fill in for that, I know I said me a lot of times, but just bear with me, uh, that pretty much tells me why they're overstaffed. They are too quick to hire people, it's not official at all, um, and <laughs> the entire place is basically run down. Every single fucking day that I would be in there, I would find out that we were out of something. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen this video that's trending on Facebook right now where, he's, where it's all like, oh, uh, uh, McDonald's at night in LA. Uh, they're saying like, oh, sorry, sir, we're out of McDonald's. Oh, sorry, but we're out of this this bread. No, we got the bread, but it's, it's moldy and it's old. You know what? Sorry, sir, we can't serve you. Shit like that. I don't know if you guys have seen that video, but that's how Burger King was. Any day that I would come in, I would find out that there was something that was out uh, whether it was ice. Yes, I said ice. We ran out of ice. Our ice machine was fucking broken. We ran out of ice. We were buying ice from Vons. We were literally buying ice from Vons and putting them in our ice machine so that way our customers could use Vons ice. We ran out of salt. Do you know how many times people would say, oh yeah, could I get my fries without salt? And I would have to say, oh yeah, we ran out of salt anyway, so you're good. Enough to say that I don't want to work there anymore. I, I've had to say that so many fucking times. You know how many times I've had to say, sorry, sir, we're out of small uh, cups, you're gonna have to buy a medium. I... There's, okay, there's one particular thing that comes to mind that uh, I thought was the funniest that I thought I would put at the end. Um, and it was one time we ran out of fries. And I know what you're thinking. That's bullshit, you didn't run out of fries. It was the holiday season, it was December. Uh, we, we did, in fact, run out of fries, um, and we kept on running out of fries. It wasn't just like, oh, we ran out of fries, so we didn't have any fries for the day. No, we went to, one of our managers went to Vaughn's and bought, like, these weird-looking, uh, fries that were, like, fat, and, uh, started put the, putting those in the broiler, and then we would use those. Then we would run out of those. And so we would go back to Vons, and they didn't even bother getting the same type of fries. They wouldn't get those fat fries anymore. They got these fries that looked like uh, spaghetti uh, noodles. They were really, like, stringy and shit. And so when we would have no more of the stringy kind, there would still be, like, some of the normal Burger King fries and some of the fat Burger King fries, and then there would be those stringy ones. And so at the end of it, it looked like this was a bag of Chex Mix. It was... <laughs> I swear to God, Burger King is the worst place to work. If you, like I said, you have to figure out whether or not it's just your location or not. For me, I think it was probably just my location. But that's where I'm gonna end off the video. I just, I just thought I'd let you guys know that, yeah, that shit's ended, and I am going to be starting a new job at Walmart. I'll have another video talking of all about that, but I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.